Hi guys, thank you for your patience. I know I haven't made a tutorial in a long time, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you. Uh, you can honestly do like any chord progression you want, as long as the last chord is like E7 or E. But most of the time, they'd be going like this. You know what I mean? And then on the last time, they switch it up. But, I mean, that's just like kind of complex. But if you want to keep it simple, just do four chord progression and add like, add an E chord to the end. It doesn't really, you can literally do any three chords and then put an E in the end and it will sound like, it will sound like electro swing. You're going to want your tempo between, I'd say 110 to 135. I'm going with 115. I'm using the uh, pop producer keys and I added chorus to get that old timey feel. Um. So as I'm arranging my notes, you gotta have the swing. So if you take a peek, instead of putting it there, you put it on like a little dot after it. See what I'm saying? So you're gonna need some kind of brass instrument. Unfortunately, there's no saxophone. So I what I do is I take the King of Funk sax from like the loops over here, and I slice it up to make my own melody. So this is like the melody that I have. As you can tell, it's pretty rough, like right here. That does not sound good, but don't worry, because when you like sidechain everything and add the automation, you, can, you can't hear that. Are you chilling? Also, if you're too lazy to do that or you don't want to do that, you can do that. You can pull up the classic 80s epic, epic brass, and you can make your own melody like that. Oh, yeah, and you got to add a, you got to add a second track. That's like an octave higher. So you can do that. You just go here and you add this a new pitch a a u new pitch and you add a 1200 cents to it and it raises it an octave for the bass i like to have this map massive wobble bass it's pretty cool pretty nice and then i like to layer a sub bass on it as well uh for the intro i threw the bass on the upright bass to give it that like uh classy vibe you know what i'm saying i also added this other bass because i thought it sounded good i added this extra melody and do like a little piano solo for one part where you drop out a lot of the other instruments i made a little melody with the crackling lead i added a little bit of string in the background get that vinyl sound from dusty records in Start with some kicks. I'm using these two because they're pretty fat kicks as opposed to some of like the thinner kicks that you get out of the drum kits. For the claps and hi-hats. Relatively simple. The only thing is you're gonna want one, for, like, for example, I'm using super solid, where the clap hits slightly before the rest of the other claps and snares. See what I'm saying? It sounds a lot better like that. I also added these two rides to help fill some of the dead space. One of the this one's reversed, and I half the speed. Add a add a couple, add a couple risers, add a couple sweepers. This literally is a riser that I just reversed because I thought it sounded really good, but uh, you know the vibes. And uh, make sure you automate the volume to cut out when the kick hits. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to uh, drop a sub or a thumbs up. Your result should sound something like this.